Following a month of torrential rains, much of South Africa has fallen victim to flash floods. Destroying property, injuring people and causing panic and chaos, the floods have affected both rich and poor across the country. Now that the clouds have finally parted, the time has come for many to count their losses and rebuild their houses and lives. Times Live went to two of the worst affected townships in Gauteng, Temba Corsa and Ivory Park, to see how residents were coping and surviving following the floods. 93-year-old Pencil Masinga, who has lived in the area most of his life and is referred to as Madala by residents, said the floods were the worst in recent memory and that he is glad he and his wife are safe now. I was buying a place. I was buying a place. Built on the muddy banks of a river, the informal settlement in which Madala lives was almost washed away by the torrents. Inside the settlement, children continued to play in the sun surrounded by stagnant water, which I was told was mostly sewage. And judging by the smell, this was most likely true. All of the small tin houses are bedded into the ground of the riverbanks, causing their floors to have become giant mud puddles with most of their possessions caked inside. The water has been like this, so I can't just sleep. I see the foot, you see the shoes, you see the brook, everything it is is dirty, so I can't be do anything. Just be honest, my life will be all right. Mm. You know, the mud is mixed with food, mixed with uh, storage, and then our prayer is just to get, a, uh, to get a place to stay, to live. This lady also describes how her blankets were soaked and her paraffin stove destroyed. <laughs> Having seen the devastation and destruction in their township, the disaster management team in nearby Ivory Park have set up food and aid parcel collection points. Aided by donations from Pick and Pay and Price Waterhouse Cooper, the relief team were doing their best to distribute blankets, food and clothing to as much of the community as possible.